I am never tired of hearing about Foodie Flakes. It was such a fun project to work on. Um, I had seen that this company, this private label company had done um, a couple of projects. They had done a NASCAR candy bar and they had um, were just conceptualizing. I had seen something about doing a peanut butter for Yerma Yager. And I'm like, oh my God, this idea is brilliant. I love this. Not that it hadn't been, you know, players that have been in weedy boxes for a long time, but actually oh. having branded products, their own branded products. So um, I called them up and I said, listen, this is my roster guys. I got, we've got to do a project together. And they said, okay. So we narrowed it down. We talked about a bunch of guys. And I just said, you know, Doug is great, is a great candidate for this because he's the underdog and people love to root for the underdog. And he just has that, you know, that scrambling personality where he just gets things done. And so they, I sold them on the idea and then it was uh, trying to narrow down what product we were going to do. Well, Doug loves pizza. So we first contemplated doing um, a frozen pizza. <coughs> but people don't buy frozen pizza frequently. So we decided to do a cereal um, and landed on Frosted Flake. That was Doug's choice, a Frosted Flake cereal. I mean, it kind of took off. It was kind of like a so many things fell into place. I also, I had a friend who went to Boston College with me and Doug is a BC alum too. So mm -hmm. who was working in LA. Doing he was the one with the Hail Mary pass, wasn't he? Yes. <laughs> so um, who was doing product placement um, on, in, for television shows. And so he was able to get Flutie Flakes on um, the show ER and Everybody Loves Raymond and a few others. And so when you watched Everybody Loves Raymond, it was right on the refrigerator in the, the kitchen. This almost every other scene was shot in the kitchen. So it was, it had a very prominent location. And then, you know, Doug we had just come back to the NFL in Buffalo. And um, it was just like, you know, he was playing great. Buffalo had been terrible for so many years. And then Jimmy Johnson stomped on the box. And so then that was all over the place. And it was like, you know, it was became this kind of thing. There's so many things kind of came, came together at one time. But we ended up selling like 2.7 million boxes of cereal. We were out. That all? <laughs> it was, you have to remember, it was only regional. So it sold. Yeah, um, but we bought them up here too. <laughs> so it was selling in Canada because we did introduce it. We did introduce it up into that market. But it was basically selling in New England um Canada and then on the internet so we were out selling Flutie Kellogg's um Frosted Flakes um and it was in every store every end cap and it yeah. was just it was such a fun project and the greatest part of that was Doug gave a portion of the proceeds to his foundation which did right. so much great work for autism